So, you guys, I was thinking about things that I made for you when you were growing up at home. Uh, now that, especially now that you're on your own, um, I don't really cook as often anymore because you're not around to enjoy it. But um, yeah, so I thought I was thinking of different recipes that really um, I made a lot of when you were growing up at home. Yeah. And so this apple bread came to mind right away okay. because, as you remember, like what would I do when you guys were doing your schoolwork at the table? You'd be so bored you needed to make something. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for you to finish algebra or whatever, and so I would go into the kitchen and make something. Sometimes it was this awesome apple bread, which the recipe is so easy, and mm -hmm. um, I'll share that later with everybody. But uh, the recipe is great and simple, and it's really dense and delicious. So I made that for you guys today because I wanted you to be able to have some since we're talking about Mother's Day. And Can I eat it though? You, like, yeah, okay. just, yeah, take cool, one. Cool, cool. And um, I think it's kind of deceitful <laughs> because it's it's still sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like fun to eat, but it's like apples. So you feel like it's so a you feel bit like healthy? it's healthier. <laughs> I think it is healthier. You count that so as this is food. What, So yeah. how many servings is a day's serving of fruit? Yeah, well, like one, how much fruit? you need three to five servings, I think. So, so you're like, probably getting like a third of a serving. So, yeah. you, just, so you, you need to make loaf. some more. If, if you ate the whole loaf, you would get maybe two of your servings. So. Okay. That's pretty good. And you guys really could do that. Yeah. As you remember, I have done that. Yeah. Yeah. I have done that. when you start slivering, about to. slivering slices off of it, <laughs> and then you keep nibbling, nibbling, and then suddenly it's gone. Two whole loaves. It's a dangerous gone. game when you eat just a little bit. Yes. At a time, you can knock out the whole thing. I know. Well, we've been talking about this apple bread recipe, and so now you're probably curious exactly what goes into it. So I have made a video for you, so you can learn the recipe and share it with somebody you love. Mother's Day or any day, they'll enjoy it. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Thanks. Mom. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> You'll start with three good eggs and crack those into a nice medium-sized bowl. Add a cup of oil, two teaspoons of a really good vanilla extract, and then two cups of white sugar. Then mix that up with your hand mixer until this is nice and white and fluffy and it will be smooth. Then you'll add your dry mixture, just a basic flour, baking soda, salt mixture, as well as two teaspoons of cinnamon. This gives it a wonderful flavor. You don't want to miss out on the cinnamon. Moisten that up together before you stick your hand mixer back in. You don't want flour to fly everywhere. Then use your hand mixer to moisten. It's a really thick batter. You'll next want to fold in your apples that you've cubed up. Just about three or four apples is all you need. And it can be any kind of apple you have on hand, really. Once you get all of the apples coated in the dough, bring out two loaf pans that you've sprayed or greased and floured, and divide the dough evenly between them. Smash it down into the corners, make it nice and smooth. Then you'll just have to stick it into an oven, 300 degrees, for an hour and a half or so to turn out with this beautiful apple bread for Mother's Day or any day. Enjoy.